Oh, there you are. Hello, a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClure, with our Monday evening pop-up. Now, the main purpose of the pop-up is just to say thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you for making Sunday night show so phenomenal and so fantastic. I see that thousands upon thousands of you have watched it, and I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Very, very important. It is marvellous and it is so good that we have found ourselves a talk show format that we can all join in one that all of us can share tremendous stuff so there you go so just a quick tea time pop up to say hi and dinky do from me Scotty McClue Sunday night 9 o'clock sharp of course is when the main programme goes out and I just wanted to say thank you because so many of you had come and joined us and that is absolutely tremendous, wonderful stuff. So there you go. So just again, a very big thank you from the bottom of my heart. Marvellous stuff. It's very, very exciting. About two and a half million of you have watched the Scotty McClure show since we started doing it on Facebook Live. And um, it just started out as a bit of fun. And of course, it's become a bit of fun and you can't say fairer than that unless you can't pronounce your F's or your TH's please keep sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing it though of course this is so very important and the more you share it then excellent good to see the Barrett Banks is Peter Dale Nevins Peter Dale Nevins dinky do to you lovely to have you with us and always good to know that the bunnet is back and doing its stuff, I say at the moment, is covering up the peat. So there we go. We touch thin on the top, but that's never a problem. It doesn't affect my presentation style, as you well know. So there you go. Now, um, share and share and share and share, guys. Everything with Scotty McClue on it. Get sharing. Very, very important. A shout out, Scotty. So it's Roberto White. Roberto White. You can always have a shout out from Scotty McClue. That is never a problem. It's great stuff. And remember to set your notifications to say when Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live and tell everyone else to set their notifications as well. Very, very important. Say set your notifications and then you'll know when Scotty McClue is live. You're boring me. Bye bye, Scotty McClue. Fiona Coates, you've probably been boring people for years and years and years. So goodbye to you as well. Not a problem. You don't have to watch. It's not compulsory, although it is axiomatic. So there you are. Excellent stuff. She's obviously got a tiny boredom threshold. She probably bores herself, I would think. Nivag Shitek is there. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us and thank you for that. And guys, as I say, if you can keep sharing and sharing and sharing, let everybody know about last night's program. Gary McKenzie, who's the roaster in the picture in the background? That'll be yourself, Gary, if you're looking at the mirror. And uh, haha, goodbye, says you're going, oh, goodbye. You're like, what are you even doing here in the first place, you silly girl? if you can't enjoy quality broadcasting and you can't appreciate talent what are you even doing watching Scotty McClue Fiona Coates bye I bet you're still with us and you'll be watching it to the end because you've had a mention and you'll be less bored now so there you are your tiny wee boredom threshold will be going oh I might actually watch this this guy's very very interesting thank you for the mention no problem at all Fiona Coates you can have as many mentions as you like I thought you were away. Bye. Cheery bye. Can we all say cheery bye to Fiona Coates now, who's got a tiny boredom threshold, so she goes when something interesting comes up on Facebook, like Scotty McClure. Um, excellent. Robert Softly, Dinky do lovely to have you with us. And of course, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, I appreciate it's tea time. Is this a good time for you to have a Scotty McClure pop-up? Right? Do tell. Spill the beans. 
is um, Monday night at about, what time are we at? About five minutes to six. A good time to actually have a Scotty McClue pop-up. Aha, not away yet, lol. Fiona Coach, you'll never be away because you love Scotty McClue and you love watching. And it's the most exciting thing that's actually happened to you today. And you thought, I'll just say I'm bored because I don't know how to cope with this level of excitement. So there you are. Apply two coats before you go. Fiona Coates, yes. Good evening, Scotty, my friends. It's Catherine Murray. Catherine, lovely to have you with us. This is just a quick Monday evening pop-up. It's not a programme per se. We're at programme 107. Last night was programme 107. How good is that? Amazing. Hi, Scotty. Dinky do, says Tony Bamford. Dinky do to you, Tony Bamford. Uh, do you agree with Boris, says Fiona Coates? I have never, ever, ever agreed with Boris. About... 20 years ago, I thought to myself that Boris, just on a fun basis, would make a good leader of the Conservative Party when the Conservative Party were wandering about in the wilderness and they were changing leaders like um, they were going out of fashion. So there you are. Sharice has joined us. Dinky do. Oi, 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 Sharice. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do. So Fiona Coates, very, very excited that her hero, Scotty McClue, has popped up on Facebook. And the only thing she could think to say was she was bored. We so are we gonna do some high dusting hen if you're bored. Busy yourself about the house. I once told my mother I was bored and she fetched me a yellow duster. So that'll put your gas at a beep. How are you, Scotty? says Sharice. Brilliant, Sharice. How are you, my darling? Did you get your share back on Facebook? Your share facility. I listen to Super Scoreboard every night at six o'clock, says Eddie Doby Senior. Oh, well, you can make an exception. You can listen to Super Scotty McClue and not be bored. There you are. Uh, Sharice is giving me three smiles. That is excellent. Now, guys, seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your kindness and your generosity and all your listeningism. Your listeningism is fantastic. So there you are. You can change your viewing habits. Would you rather watch me right now or would you rather watch the six o'clock news? You can say, you know, you can say what you'd rather see. I will, oh, says Eddie Doby Senior. Absolutely. Hello, Scotty. How are you today? Says Brian Kessick. Excellent, Brian. I agree only with Boris over the burqa. Love your mention, Scotty. Of course you do, Fiona Coates. You love a mention. And you will never, ever, ever get bored with Scotty McClure. The one thing I have never, ever, ever heard anybody say is that they were bored listening to me. How's that, Scotty? Did you do? Good evening, Scotty. Yes. What? Watch Scotty, watch Scotty, sorry, rather than watch the six o'clock news. I know what you mean. People put it on because they say, let's just put this on. Say, so put on Scotty McClure instead. Um, are you cold, Scotty? It's a wee bit chilly where I am here today. It's a wee bit of a draft. Um, I've only got the single glazing, you see. Heidi, hi, says Sauce Gregorian. Big shout out to Betty from Saracen and Posso. She says you make her moist, Scotty. Oh, just a wee bit tearful. I understand. My mum wants you in her bed, says Gary McKenzie. So there you are. Everybody used to go to bed with Scotty McClure at night. Definitely. Uh, the news is depressing, says Sharice. Yes, you will not get depressed watching Scotty McClure, Sharice. I think we could virtually cross our fingers and guarantee that one for you. So there we are. Lots of lovely, lovely smiles. Now, how's the time? Because I did say I was just going to pop up for a few minutes. I think we've got another couple of minutes, haven't we? Excellent stuff. So would you rather watch Scotty McClure as a piece of television or would you rather see the six o'clock news? There you are. John Hooster's watching Dinky Doo. Derek Jimmy Walker. Nice to see you. Glad to see you about. You'll all be coming in from your work now, guys. Have you noticed when you applied for the job, it said it's a 30-hour week. There's actually a 60-hour week of which 30 hours are paid. There you are, that kind of thing. Excellent stuff. You lose a good bit of money if you work your lunch hour. Do you know that? Louise Gemmell's watching. Lovely too. Hear from you, Louise, and dinky do. The best man live is Scotty, says Robert Brewster Wilson. Thank you, Robert Brewster Wilson. Time six o'clock, Scotty. News time. Yes. Good evening. Here's the news. Read by Scotty McClure. 
A major broadcaster is in town tonight and may pop up live on Facebook Live during this news bulletin. Please keep your eyes peeled for the very famous Scotty McClure. He will be wearing a checkered bonnet and probably a kind of crazy maroon-coloured, brick-coloured, polo-neck type of garment that you would never, ever see in the shops. And uh, Scotty McClure, he is very, very approachable. So go up and extend your hand and say, Dinky do, pleased to see you, big man. That's the end of the six o'clock news. Join us later for more updates. Until then, good evening. So there we are. Right, how was that? Shout out to Callum Kinloch, to Sandra Kinloch. Absolutely. Hello, says Susan Forrest. Hello, Susan. Hello, Cherise. So there you are. Now, was that a better six o'clock news than you get on your telly? Come on. Front up, fess up, step up to the plate. Do tell me. And um, Neil Tipping's watching, the wonderful Neil Tipping, one of the finest wizards of the big switchboard I have ever experienced in my whole 40 years of broadcasting. Robert Knapp's watching, dinky do, lovely to have you with us, Robert. And uh, we're working on it, should flabby housewives buy tummy trimmers and ditch the uh, menthols, says Sean Anderson. And there used to be a thing, I don't know if you remember it, radio is dead, it's all about online streaming these days, says Ian Hills. Well, I think so. I mean, if you look at my program last night, thousands and thousands have seen it. Now, I know that an hour of Scotty McClure brings in more than a week of certain radio stations. Seriously. Now, when I was in radio, um, I could bring you an audience of maybe a quarter of a million per half hour. So if I was on for six half hours, a three-hour show, right, think about that, quarter of a million, six times quarter of a million, a million and a half people listening per program. If you're on five days a week, that's five million and two and a half, that's seven and a half million people have actually seen your program. Hello, Derek. I'm adding to my macaroni. Uh, Stevie Brown's watching a Kevin Walker dinky do. You're watching Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, now broadcasting live on Facebook Live online. And on farm as well, of course. We're on farm and we're online. Two weeks for a new bus pass. Shocking. So what did you do? Uh, this morning I put my hand out to stop a bus. I wasn't strong enough. Oh dear. Uh, hello, Sir Stevie Brown. Don't try that at home now. That was for entertainment purposes only. Hello, Sir Stevie Brown. Hello, Stevie Brown. How are you? Dinky Doo. We're just having a discussion. Would you rather watch me or would you rather watch the six o'clock news on the telly. Which do you prefer? I can do your six o'clock news if that's what you prefer. Um, hello, hello, Scotty, this is Robert Peck. Dinky do, Robert Peck. Lovely to have you with us. Spread the word, guys. Let's get sharing and sharing and sharing. Even share this little broadcast. And thank you for last night. See you later, Scotty. You're a wee character. See you, Fiona Coates. Are you away? I don't believe you. You'll be watching and watching and watching and watching because you got another mention, Fiona Coates, didn't you? Aha. Uh -huh. So there you go. You got another mention. You were going, bye. But you haven't gone, bye. You stayed and watched because you got mentioned, didn't you, Fiona Coates? There we are. See you later, Fiona Coates. Lovely to talk to you. And um, uh, no woman is ever bored with the company of Scotty McClue. So there you go. Excellent. I can tell you that for nothing. Now, um, so no charge for that. Um, yep, you're right, you're right, lol, says Fiona Coates. I knew, I knew. There was too much going on, Fiona, for you just to, to push off and go and have yourself bangers and mash or whatever you're having. Uh, an ostrich stir fry tonight, says Derek Jimmy. Away you go. It's supposed to be ostrich. It'll be chicken, I would imagine. There you are. And uh, the next thing you'll be telling me, you're having an ostrich egg. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, uh, if you just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure with a quick Monday evening pop-up, just to say dinky-doo to every single one of you, and also to say thank you. Thank you for watching our Sunday night show at nine o'clock. And now, lol, and now, says Fiona Coates, she's going, you're not going, you won't go, 
till I go. You won't go to the end of the broadcast because you're enjoying yourself far too much. And you love hearing your name up in lights with Scotty McClue globally to the rest of the universe. David Rendall is watching. Thank you, David. Lovely to have you with us. Are they your own teeth, Scotty? Hey, no, they're not. Actually, Robert Rooster Wilson, are you watching? There you go. I've had to take them out, son. So that's the stuff. So no, the answer is they're not my own teeth. So there we go. I won't show you them, no. I won't show you teeth. Um, but uh, no, they're not my teeth. So sorry about that. Uh, it's a kind of illusion, you know. I use it to sort of say I've got my teeth when I actually haven't, son. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he fooled you all, fooled you all. Yes, they're my own teeth. Of course they are. For goodness sake, I'm a young man. It's only older people that get false teeth. Uh, Berta King Patton's watching. What a fine lady. Dinky do, Berta King Patton. Lovely to know that you are there. I say, tremendous stuff. Ha ha ha. Love you, Scotty. So she on coats. I know. I love you too. And I knew you wouldn't go. You wouldn't desert Scotty McClue. Only a fool would do that. Bored or otherwise. An extract from Scott FM. So Sean Anderson. Absolutely. Just a wee pop-up from Scott FM. Do you remember it in the mornings between nine o'clock? The best, the best lineup ever. Robin Galloway for breakfast, Scotty McClue for mid-morning. And the figures <whistles> through the roof. So there you go. Through the roof, I'll tell you. Ian McDonald, Dinky Doo, Derek Jerry Walker, only 21, Scotty. Of course. Fiona's here to stay, says Robert Mr. Wilson. Yes, Fiona will never, ever leave us. Fiona Coates will always be part of the Scotty McClue Show. Big style. I'll tell you that. So there you are. She's now a wee superstar, and she is chuff, chuff, chuffed to bits. Excellent stuff. She's never experienced anything like it. But hope that will be shining. So there you are. Uh, you got the women hot in here tonight, Scotty. Woo! Woo! We're a bit hot tonight, Sharice. We need to cam it, cam it. We're all a bit lit, I say. Goat's milk and sheep's gonads for tea, says Ian McDonald. So there we are. Go and add up again, I say. I'm 21 the morrow, says Sharice. Excellent, Sharice. Lovely to hear that. Is that plus a wee bit of VAT? Or is that your genuine age? Are you telling McClure a whopper? Or are you absolutely 100% Gen up, right hand up to the big man, I say. That one there. Uh, you're right, Scotty and Robert. <laughs> there you go, Fiona. And we kiss, kiss you. Excellent stuff. You are now a superstar. Uh, there's uh, Marie Tag. Excellent stuff. She's been argy barging with me about the Queen giving Harry and his missus that big estate. People don't understand all these things, guys. You lot generally do not know how the state works. The Royal Family do a fabulous job. The most we fork out max for the whole of the Royal Family is 62 pence. Right? Now, what do you get for 62 pence? I can see you on the news agent saying, can I get the penny tree, please? I want 62 of them mojos. All that stuff. So there you go. Um, VAT free, no up, no doon. So there you are. No income tax, no VAT, no money back, no guarantee. Excellent stuff. So that's that. Now, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. The time is about, am I right, about nine minutes past six. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Now, I've just popped up to say thank you. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Thank you and dinky do to every single one of you. Uh, Mrs. McClure put you in the dug house when she found out, this is Derek Jimmy Walker, found out what? Found out that I was broadcasting. 21 forever, says Sharice. Well, you're only as old as you feel, doll. I'll tell you that for nothing. 610. So there are the 610. The 610 coming down the line. Excellent. <laughs> 10 past 6. Hang up and phones to Prince Harry. Um, so there we are. Hang ups on phone to Prince Harry. 
Don't know what you mean about that, David Rendell. Very, very interesting. Right. We shall try and translate that. But, um, you know, I mean, don't have the wee green-eyed monster about Prince Harry and Meghan living in that state because, uh, you know, you can only wear one suit, as my dad would say. I doll Ken Ken, says Sharice. Excellent stuff. So there you are. Married Tag has mentioned me in one of the comments on Facebook. Go and have a read at that. We're having an argy-bargy about uh, Prince Harry and the royal estate. But somebody's got to live in these houses, guys, I tell you. Right, can we have some sharing, please? Have you all shared this broadcast? I'll bet you have not. I'll bet you have not. So there we are. I shall just see what you've all shared, because I can see... The woman, 1010 Ken Ken. Well, Sharice got a real name for her birthday. I think it's a lovely name, Sharice. So there you are. Um, tonight, yes, says Derek Jimmy Walker. What are you offering, Derek Jimmy Walker? You're offering everything. Oh, tonight, oh, yes. All that nonsense. Never had so much rubbish in all my life with you guys. It really is crazy, crazy stuff. Evening, Scotty, says Gary Sampson. Uh, and a putney pie. So there you are, a kidney pie. There you are, a kidney pie. A steak and kidney pie. Right, I'm going to share this, guys. So there we go. There, we're off we go with the sharing. Share now. That's it. This has been shared to your timeline. Off it goes. Excellent. And I think we'll share uh, to a page. We'll share to the Scotty McClure page, the Dinky Doo page. If you'd like to do business with me, if you want me to voice your advert so you actually sell something, then, um, you know, do let me know. And don't panic. Don't think, oh, he'll want some amount of guilt. We can do a deal. We can come to an arrangement. Scotty on TV, the day said Prince uh, Harry's father-in-law hung up him on the phone. David, we don't know what you're talking about. Um, I can share, says Sharice. Of course you can. They've given you your share button back. Abracadabra. So there we are. Um, did I tell you that uh, I was suffering? I was suffering from the hokey cokey. But what I did was I went along to a clinic um, and I put my whole self in and I've turned myself around. And uh, that's what it's all about. So there you are. Shared, shared, excited. I can share it. I can share it. Dinky doo, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Excellent. Dinky doo. Did we share that there? I think we did. Yes. Let's do some more sharing. Let's share to another page. It's always very, very exciting. I say. So there we are. I'll share to that one. Excellent stuff. Right. Get sharing, Sharice. Let everybody know. Fiona Coates is still with us. Oh, there's a surprise. Going to say hello to all the prisoners in the Gateside Prison in Greenock and tell them I hope they enjoy their sentence. Ha ha. Fiona Coates, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. They've done it. They're doing their time. So there we are. There's no need to sort of, um, you know, you know what I'm saying. So there you are. I'm beginning to wonder about you. Maybe it'd be better if you did trot on, if you did jog on, I ask you. Right, so there we go. Now, uh, have we shared? Yes, we have. Good. And lots of lovely, lovely people sharing. Excellent. Scotty McClure, the one stop broadcast for the first lord of the internet, just for your quick Monday evening pop up to say thank you. Done it. No hello to prisoners, says Sharice. So there you are. The prisoners used to write to Scotty McClure and uh, maintain their innocence. I hasten to add, so there you are, three square meals a day, and if there's a riot, a roof under your feet. Uh, where did you get your jumper? Aha, the secret. I knew this would set a fashion, and every day will want one of these. So there you are with the toggle on it. That very nice. Uh, Stephen Lipton, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue with a Monday evening pop up, a tea time pop up just for you. Now, do tell me, guys, is this a good time for McClue to pop up and speak to you all? When would you say is a good time? To broadcast. What about quarter to seven, six thirty? That sort of idea. I don't know. I'm just kind of um, picking a time, bit random. I know, but then that's good. But set your notifications. Let you know when Scotty McClue is live. Yes, says Ian Hills. Yes. Does that mean it's a good time, Ian? Is that what you're saying? Because you haven't answered in a sentence. You've done me a, a one-word answer. It says 6.14, says Steve Higgis. 
Higgis, have I said it right, Steve? Steve Higgis, Eddie Dobby Senior, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, uh, 6.14. Is 6.14 a good time to broadcast, or is that the time now? Eddie Dobby Senior is saying 8 o'clock would be a good time to broadcast. Every day, bro, any time, any, every day, Robert Peck, yes, yes, 7 p.m., Scotty, says David Rendall. It's a good time, says Ian Hales, yes. Hello from Barnsley. You're looking swell, Scotty, says Lindsay Taylor. Lindsay Taylor, dinky do to Barnsley. I say, marvellous part of the world. I do love it. News at 10 with Scotty McClure. Neil to me, good evening. Here is the news this evening. Read by Scotty McClure. Hello. So there we are. Shall I do that? Shall I do the news at 10 for you? Pop up at 10 o'clock, armed with all the latest news, and just do a straight read to camera. Would that be all right? Uh, Christopher Loves watching Dinky Do, Steve McLennan. I think they want all the glamour pussies on the news now. Have you noticed that? So, you know, sort of a, uh, you know, a serious one like me coming up and giving it the heavyweight chat on the news, uh, literally. I don't know if that's what they're looking for. But then again, the whole secret to television, and if there's any television programmers watching, take heed of what McClue's saying, because McClue does know what he's talking about. All right? I am not just a pretty face. I am not an airhead. No, no, absolutely not. In television... You might say it's not what we're looking for. That means you haven't looked at the subject properly, right? Because in television, a good programmer doesn't know what they're looking for, but they know when they get it. All right? So there you are. That's the secret. So I've let you into one of my secrets. The other, of course, is how to get massive audiences for talk radio stations. And uh, many of them are not actually doing that at the moment. Good night, Scotty. You're a wee broke guy. Uh, when you don't praise the Royals, always praise the Royals, dear boy, because they really do a lot of work. It's not a boy. Who is it? Wait, let's see. What's oh, Fiona? Fiona Coates. Yourself. I thought you were away. You were bored about 20 minutes ago, and you were going. You were giving it the full bit, the serious threat. That's me away now, Scotty. All oh, those always praise the Royals. Evening, Scotty, says Christopher Love. Scotty, the new Piers Morgan, says David Randall. <laughs> so there you are. Tune in, tune in, says Sharice. Always tune in, always tune in to Scotty McClue. Paul Sefton's watching Robbie Dunn. Lovely to have you with us, guys. And Dinky Doo, come and join us. If this was really just a quick Monday evening pop-up to say thank you, thank you. Two and a half million of you have watched the Scotty McClue show live on Facebook Live, and bearing in mind, when I met a lot of radio controllers when I went live at first on uh, Facebook Live, I would be out socialising in the radio industry, and I would meet a lot of the controllers and go, ha, 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 Scotty McClure, Facebook Live, <laughs> and all the rest of it. Now, they realise that I've actually got more people watching and listening to me than they might have on their radio station. How good is that? Uh, do you think the Queen really approves of the princess? Says Robert Peck. I don't know. I am not Her Majesty's keeper. Uh, none of us are, so I couldn't tell you what she's thinking, but I'm pretty sure she's very, very pleased that um, her family have found a bit of happiness. I think that's important because it is a difficult gig being royal. Um, I've studied it for many, many years, studied it for about 40 years and maybe even 50 years. And uh, I can tell you um, all you need to know about the state and royalty. Are you going to watch Big Brother on Thursday night? Fiona Coates, I thought you were away. I nearly uh, got into Big Brother. So there you are. I actually got to sit in the room and you don't ever see Big Brother and you don't talk directly to Big Brother. But um, the producer would actually have a chat to you and then, you know, Big Brother obviously spoke to them and they would say to me, um, Big Brother likes your answer. 
Very much indeed. You know, Big Brother likes your answer. So I nearly made it, but I think the fact that I'd worked on television panicked them a bit. But yes, um, I don't normally watch stuff I'm not in, but um, I will make an exception. Uh, Scotty, you remind me of Tam from the Still Game. Thank you. What a wonderful compliment. That's the nicest thing anybody said to me in the last half hour. Uh, George Dick's watching Dinky Do. Thanks, lad, says Robert Peck. Not at all, Robert. A great privilege. And a pleasure. Tam, still game. Absolutely. Is he the one that went to the cash and carry with Navid and over eight on the freebies? So you're greedy. <laughs> Karmic McCusker is watching Dinky Do. Is it Tam? Is it Tam? I forget the right one. It's Tam that went with Navid to the cash and carry. This is, I'm going back a bit and still game. You know what I mean? Uh, Sharice is there. Dinky Do. We know that. Lots of smiles, my darling. Love your positivity. It's catching the smug one, says Sean. Yes, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. And uh, uh, not the not the other the other big one that comes round <laughs> to the house. Um, I can't stay away. Love you, Scotty. Long thanks for the replays. Fiona Coates is not a problem, but I thought you were away twenty minutes ago. Bored now? Bye. All that stuff. Good evening, Scotty. Nice to see you. Nice says be crafty. Always lovely to see you be crafty. And you're always nice. Be crafty, I say. Stephen Murray's watching. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Now you'll all be going for your tea soon. So it's probably time for me to push off. Uh, it's been lovely to pop up. Um, please, 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 I beg of you, share and share and share and share and share. Share and share alike. So whenever you see Scotty McClue on something, share it. Don't go into a rant to yourself and go, oh, no, him again. He's a, ah, oh, gee, oh, oh. One, one half-witted old idiot last night actually said to me, you're ruining, you're ruining Facebook. <laughs> Scotty McClue popping up is ruining Facebook. I love it. Uh, why the big jumper, Scotty? It's lovely here in Barnsley's bikini weather. I've got my bikini on under the big jumper, Lindsay. So there you are. It's just in case I have to go out later. You know, I always like to be dressed up. So marvellous stuff. And it's a wee bit cooler here. You'll notice I'm not sort of glowing the way I sometimes glow or, or absolutely bucket and pour with glow juice. Uh, TC Scotty, respect, pal. Be got be gobless. Oh, no. God bless. Sorry, I thought you said be gobless. Oh, my goodness me. I couldn't be doing that. Right, so there you are. Uh, spread the word, guys. Scotty McClure's back. He's live on Facebook Live. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And uh, if you've got a spare pound or a fiver, tenner, thousand pounds, whatever it is, pop it into Scotty McClure's PayPal. You'll find it on Scotty McClure's website. Click on the link there. 100% secure, and you can pop in a fiver. Aye, it's winter, says Baker. Oh, you have to, you have to keep warm. You have to keep warm. Oh dear, says Lindsay Taylor. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Yes, time for the song. Are we ready? Uh, shall I, uh, shall I also play myself out on the piano? Do we like that? There's so many things up here. I don't know if this will actually work. No, in fact, it won't, because I need to, I need to make sure everything was sorted out. You're not so are. are you on tomorrow, says B Crafty? We'll see how the wind blows, B. But set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClure is live. Uh, you should have went to Specsavers to read that. No, Sharice, I should have gone to Specsavers, and I did go to Specsavers. So there we are. Here is the result. Ho, 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 never a dull moment. Will do, says Fiona Coates. Are you? I thought you were away, Fiona Coates. You're still with us. Okay, sounds good, says B Crafty, but watch as much back catalogue as you can. Get yourselves on to Scotty McClure's YouTube, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClure 1. You'll see it all on the Facebook, scroll down. Au revoir, na cheerio. ta ta lovey. All right, here we go. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of we to sing. Au revoir, and a cheerio. Away and get your tea, everybody. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo just for you.